Welcome back everybody. The announcement of the DRC elections have been delayed. Opposition parties have called the postponement a ploy by the government to sway the vote towards President Joseph Kabila's preferred candidate, Imanul Ramazani Shadari. The announcement is now expected next week. However, with his view, we have uh, Claude Ibalanki, the spokesperson for Felix Tisakedi, DRC presidential candidate and a front runner. Claude, a very good morning to you. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning to you, Sipri. Thanks for having me. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a pleasure. We, uh, we know that the result was supposed to be announced yesterday today, but then they've since been postponed to next week. What are your thoughts? Well, I thought uh, we are very worried. You know, we, we're anxiously waiting for the announcement uh, because this is very important, not only for the peace and stability in the country, but because people deserve to know. They went to vote, so they, they deserve to know the results and the winner, so the country can, back, can get back uh, into its normal course. Your leader, Mr. Felix Tisagedi, and the, and the other uh, opposition front-runner, Martin Fayulu, and as well as Mr. Shadari, they all declared themselves winners. Where are you guys getting these results? Well, first, there could only be one winner. Um, and uh, we, as the UDPS, we have our own compilation center, uh, where on the night of the election, when the voting stopped, by law, the result has to be displayed for all to see, and all the party agents and the observers to sign on the document. So those documents have come back to us in our compilation center. So that is one source. Uh, that gives us confidence that we have won. So we're not just saying we have won, but we got hard evidence. But another source, um, we have people. But there's only one official results center or election center, which is CENI, the Electoral yes. Commission, and Indeed. it is still yet to issue results. What makes you think that your results are actually accurate? No, our results are accurate because we do balance it with uh, CENI's own results. Because remember, we have people inside CENI. We have sympathizers, we have party members, but you also have other parties' agents that are within CENI. So, and they've been leaking information. So we know exactly what's going on behind the scene inside CENI. So when you look at our own results and what CENI has, has got at the moment, we are clearly a leader. And by very far, the margin is quite big. Officials from uh, Martin uh, Fayulu's camp are, are, are saying exactly the same thing. And officials from uh, Mr. Shadari's camp are, are saying exactly the same thing. Don't you think this is a, a potential breeding ground for violence, declaring yourselves winners when the uh, official election center, the CENI, hasn't mm -hmm. yet announced results? Well, well, somehow you are right. We are not declaring ourselves a winner because only CENI can do it. But we say we are leading the process. But it's impossible for Mr. Shadari to win these elections. You've seen during the campaign, there was no excitement about him. You know, the people are tired with the Kabila system. It's been there for almost 18 years. It's enough. It's time for change. So the people are calling. The people have called for change. Now, when you look at Martin Fayulu, again, when you look realistically, it's very impossible for him to win. Because he doesn't have a strong hold. First, he doesn't have a, a strong political party as a person. So he's relying on other people to support him. And but all major opinion polls have rated him as the front runner in this election. No, but opinion polls are, are purchased, are commissioned, are, are, are bought out. So nobody in Congo and elsewhere believe in them. What does Mr. Mr. Tisakedi think of uh, Mr. Fayulu? Well, for the moment, he's an opponent. Uh, like, uh, like Shadari, because we're all vying for the same uh, position. But after the election, after we've been declared a winner, uh, Mr. Chisekedi will consider him as a compatriot, with whom, if need be, we need to work together for the, for the stability of the country. If Mr. Shadari is then announced and declared as the ultimate winner, what then? What will Mr. Chisekedi do? Well, first, we are committed to accepting uh, the result of the election, provided the results that are announced are the true reflection of the vote of the Congolese people. So we know it's impossible for Mr. Shadari to win. We know it's impossible for him to be declared a winner because he's sitting so low, he's, he's got less than 20%. Now to push him up would take massive rigging, which is virtually impossible. So that, that can't be. That's, that will never happen. So that possibility does not exist. It's impossible that he can be declared uh, a winner. But we are committed to accepting the result, as announced by the CENI, provided those results reflect the truth of what the Congolese people have 
Uh, Let's talk about the three regions that have been excluded from the election and uh, the voters run in the regions of about 1.2 million who have been excluded and uh, they are seen as the opposition strongholds. I mean, they will only vote in March. Uh, what do you think happens in the interim? Well, first, it's unfortunate that uh, 1.2, 1.3 million people will be excluded from, from voting. And the reason advanced by Seni do not hold water. So we reject that and we condemn that. Uh, but we say that should not be a reason for us first to boycott the election because we have to, we, we had to take this process all the way to the end. So what happened in the interim is that the president will be elected, uh, the winner will be announced, but those three areas will not have participated in the vote. But in March, they will have the opportunity to vote for their national MPs, but also for the provincial uh, MPs. It's unfortunate that they will have a president of which they did not have a say on. Right. Yes. All right, Cloud, thank you so much for joining us. Thank we you. We appreciate your time. Sure. Many thanks to Claudi Balanki, the spokesperson for Felix Tsisegedi, the DRC presidential candidate and front runner. Well, he was giving us his take on the DRC elections, and uh, the result announcement was supposed to be yesterday, but it's since been postponed to next week. So we'll keep you posted on the latest development coming out of the DRC. This is, uh, this is morning.